prepare for an environment where the radio the Oregon State background check system does not work. The sponsor of this bill just told us that 95% of the people who are pended are pended incorrectly. So clearly it's not working. Every day I hear from people who have been denied their rights with no justification. Some of them for many months, some of them for up to two years. Efforts to resolve these issues are met with stonewalling, runarounds, and roadblocks. The attitude of the Oregon State Police ID unit is, we don't care, we don't have to. And now that the FBI has suspended investigations into excuse me, delays and denials, thousands of qualified people are just acting on I shared with you in the exhibit some of the many emails that I've received from people who are victims of this mess. I had plenty more and lots of phone calls. We'll also enclose a screenshot of the background check interface used by my gun club to attempt to transfer. One of our members tried to buy a gun in November. He was delayed until January because he was known to us. The gun was delivered lawfully to him after three days. But it wasn't the gun he ordered, so he returned it. When the correct gun came in, they conducted another background check, which he passed immediately, even though he was still being delayed the first time. If you look at the screenshot, you'll see he's being delayed until January 12th. Well, that screenshot was taken on January 25th, so really, this makes no sense. Only the state can develop a faulty system, force you to be subjected to it, and then punish you when it fails. And now you're considering making it worse. Even the sponsor of this bill publicly admits that the vast number of people who are delayed are delayed in error, although I think she greatly underestimates how many people that is. Based on her own comments, it's clear that she's not happy that anyone's able to acquire a firearm, so it's safe to say what this bill's about. The tiny and insufficient safeguards in the current law are not loopholes. Every right is not a loophole that needs to be closed. In fact, the parts of the law that 4147 would change are carefully considered elements to afford some small amount of protection to the people who are being victimized by the faults of the current system. If 8,000 people were denied the right to vote because of a bureaucratic error on the part of the election, <coughs> elections division, would you be satisfied if they were told they could vote in six months? This has nothing to do with stopping spree killers, most of whom successfully completed background checks. We have to stop perpetuating that myth. It's a bad idea, and it should be rejected. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members of the committee. My name is Roger.